guys, it's me, Josie. Welcome back to my channel. I do not have a vlog for you guys today. I'm so sorry. And I want to put this out there ASAP. I am not filming on my camera. I am, in fact, filming on my phone only because I need a new memory card on my camera and it's acting stupid. So we got to deal with the phone. But the phone camera is not that bad. It's giving more realistic. So today's video consists of me finally doing a get ready with me me finally giving you guys a makeup tutorial and I'm just going to be answering your guys' questions, talking to y'all on certain topics, blah, blah, blah. But the thing that I'm really excited for is that I'm going to be using a full face of Nova Beauty products. Let me show y'all. So my goodies are in this bag right here. All my lippies, all my lip liners, all my eyeshadow. I think I got eyeshadow. I don't quite remember. And then I also, you know, wanted to use some makeup brushes so we're gonna use that and yeah i'm really excited because i got some really cute lip liners and i'm excited to try because y'all really like my lips for some reason so i want to see how they look on me and yeah they are in the frame so basically while i'm doing my makeup with my nova beauty i'm just gonna talk to y'all we're gonna get deep it's basically gonna be girl talk you know the deal i have no makeup on so we're gonna get the full thing Duh, because that's what happens because I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so before we hop into doing my makeup, let's do a haul and I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got from Nova Beauty. So I'm gonna start with these makeup brushes. It comes in five pieces. This is the first set of brushes that I got and I'm gonna open my other one. We're gonna open the rest of our packages, but I'm in love with my brushes. They're so like, I don't know how to like, they're simple but cute. It's like less is more. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. It made sense in my head. OMG. So I'm going to start off with the beauty blenders. I'll show you those. Look how cute the mommy and daughter. It's like mommy and baby. This is literally, this is so cute. So this is a snatched lip liner. We're definitely going to be using this. The whole like packaging of everything is just so perfect because it's literally matte. I love that. Oh, so look, it comes out like that. I don't know if y'all can see and then this this i love it it's to like blend it out oh my god that's so smart love it um this is another i think lip liner the second lip liner that i got this one's looking a little actually no so i lied this whole time i was thinking it was a freaking lip liner it's actually a gel eyeliner oh <gasps> beautiful 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 definitely be using this <gasps> guys this color is so pretty omg I haven't even tried the lip gloss yet, but I already know it's a 10 out of 10 just because it looks so shiny in that damn bottle. This is a cream lipstick. Okay. So the lipstick I got, I got like a really light nude because I wanted to do like the darker outer corner lip with um, a nude in the middle because why not? A nude. Love it. I'm loving it. I love it so much that I'm turning British. So with the brow pencil, here you have the actual pencil itself. And then, it's like a duo one. Then you have a spoolie. It's so cute. It's another gel liner. Ooh, it looks white. But I think it's white. Oh, it's glow. It's highlight. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a glowy thing. I don't know if you can see it. That's that. So, I was about to jump into this video and start doing my makeup without even opening this. It's eyeshadow. I love doing my eyeshadow. I never have time to do it because I'm always getting ready in a rush. I don't know why. But it's so fun. So this palette is bronze. It's called the bronze palette, like actually. And it's perfect for today's look because that's what I'm doing. This is so cute. Like, look at this. So this is the palette and these are the shades that come in the palette. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. So let's get into it and let's do our makeup. Okay, so I pinned my hair back so it's easier to do my makeup. I'm gonna start answering and talking with some questions just so I can like just grab something and just get started. I'm probably gonna start with my face, so I'm just gonna grab my primer. So first question is, would I date someone who isn't an influencer? I don't know. I've just seen my friends like be with people that aren't influencers and it just works out with them so well. But then again, it's also so hard because most of the time, if someone doesn't do what you do or even have like the slightest like idea of what you do, it's hard because it comes to like, oh, why are you doing videos with people? Or, oh, why are you going out? Like sometimes people don't understand that like with social media, there's social media events, you have to go do this, you have to collab with other people. 
so it's hard i see guys when you're dating someone that also does social media it's easier because you guys both have a better understanding of where you're both coming from you guys have the same line of work it's fun to work with your partner it's so cool and it's such a good feeling so i don't know if i could date someone that doesn't do social media or at least understand it very well because i've tried talking to people that don't do social media and it's so hard so yeah i'm gonna use this brush to apply my foundation <laughs> so excited I just think dating someone out of social media would not be the best decision for me. I don't like to argue over my work or have to be like, feel like I can't go out or do what I need to do just because someone doesn't understand what I do. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour and my bronzer. So I'm looking at the questions on my computer because I'm on my phone, <laughs> but it says, how is life different now since you become hugely popular online? I didn't think much about this question or when somebody always asked me I was like I never knew how to answer it's just crazy to notice like how much it puts you into the public eye without you really even realizing it because every time I go out now it's just stares and I'm like I see it now but before I would have been like why are they staring but like me it's like something that I had to learn to like deal with over the years but I think that's the only thing that has become different like I've said before, social media has definitely opened to my eyes to show that there's more to life than just a regular nine to five, going to school, like this, this and that. It's just shown me that there's, you could do so much more. So this is the contour for my face. I'm loving it. I'm giving very snatched. So far, these brushes are a 10 out of 10. Now I'm doing my concealer and I'm using this brush. So I'm apply it right here, uh, right here. Nose contour is my favorite part to do it's literally just two contour lines a line on top of your nose at the bottom literally just so easy but it did take me a minute to perfect oh my god i love how it's just applying so smoothly like, well i do my concealer like this so my face can get snatched and boom so here is our concealed face look and we're going to blend this out now with our Nova Beauty Beauty Blender. I'm so excited. I really want to use the little one. I'm just going to find, I think I'm going to use it right here. So I'm going to use the big one for right here. And I love the fact that it's very pointy and it's very angled. So it's like able to get like that snatch look so easily. I think with acrylics, this would definitely be super, super hard. But I would still thug it out just to use this Beauty Blender. Basically, the next topic is to talk about my most craziest experience. I have a couple crazy experiences, so I'm just going to tell you ones that just pop into my mind right away. So the first one that I can think of is when I went to Coachella. So Doja Cat, Joji, and Nata were performing at the same time. I was just like, oh my god, like I don't know who to go see. So I was just like, F it, Nata. Oh, and I'm like having the time of my life. I'm like, yay, Nata, like I'm living it up. So next thing, we're waiting to see The weekend perform. And we're there probably like an hour or two before his performance. I'm literally just like sitting there. And then Tati goes, oh, Josie, your man, the one with blue hair. And I'm like, who the fuck? And then I'm like, oh, OMG, not that has blue hair. I'm like, oh my God. Like we're literally like right across from it because the barricade from the otter section and we're like behind it. So everyone's sitting down, like waiting for the weekend to come on. And I'm over here screaming, not that, not that, not that. And then he sees us and then Tati, Talia, Sarah, they're waving him down and he looks at me and he like waves and I'm like, <laughs> and I wave back. And then next thing you know, Tati's mom is in the artist um, section. Now I'm gonna do my bronzer. And Tati calls her mom and she's just like, mom, Josie's like the guy that Josie thinks is cute and does music, he's there with you guys. Tati's mom goes up to him and she's like, my daughter's friends, my daughter and her friend really like you, they're over there. And at this point, I'm waving. I'm like, not that like me. I'm like, me, 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 me. And I blow a kiss. And this man looks at me, smiles, waves, and goes back. And I'm like, <laughs> I was literally in like shock. And I was like, oh my God, there's no way that not that blew me a kiss. And I was like, at this point, we're basically going to get married. Like I was literally just like in love. I folded. I was about to jump over those barricades. So the friend that not that was with was like, um, oh, tell them to come over um, to Tati's mom. And I was like, <gasps> Don't tell me twice because I will jump this fence. But um, they ended up leaving and we couldn't go. I think what one really, really, really crazy experience for me was back in like 2016, I had the fattest crush on this man. Like it was like, it was from someone on Boys of Summer. And I was just like, oh, this man is so cute. Like, oh my God, I have the fattest crush on him. And then a couple years passed and we're at a friend's house and my friend was getting picked up. He was like, oh, this person's coming. And I was thinking it was another person with the same name as my crush. Next thing you know, homeboy walks up in and I'm like, 
<laughs> and then we hang out blah 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 but that did not end well obviously because here i am single as hell but it was only because that man is a whore but anyways let's not speak on that now that i am done with like my bronzer and my face stuff i am going to set this all with baking powder and oh i have another crazy experience i lied i think another crazy experience for me was i think it was like breathtaking it was just so unreal the first time we went to the concert in la jackie was just like oh my god that's my friend dancing with him i was like what like your friend's dancing with bts like i thought it was so crazy right i went to go see bts in vegas with jackie he was just like i'm gonna text them let's see if we can hang out with them after and boom next thing you know we're hanging out with them i'm like you guys literally just dance with bts you guys are acting like nothing like it was so crazy to me and then the craziest part was that we were getting in the elevators and i literally turn around imagine i'm like i saw bts no i wish but i turn around and it's like literally the whole production management team for like the stage these are literally the people that set up the concert and they're right behind us because you could tell because they ha literally have the landlord i was like i'm technically this close to bts because they were staying at the same hotel as the dancers i was like oh, what if bts is staying here too that was crazy to me i probably wasn't crazy to you guys but it literally made me so excited talking about <laughs> but yeah so <laughs> this question is how long do i like actually take to get ready including hair and makeup um, if I'm talking my butt off and I'm spilling tea, cheese may, you know, whatever I'm doing, it takes me a long time. Like right now, I would have been done probably like a long time ago, but I'm taking my sweet time. It takes me a long time. In middle school, I, this is when I wore the least amount of makeup. I'm going to go into my blush. I use a liquid blush at first and then I set it with a powder, like a powder blush. In middle school, I don't know why. I would, I didn't start school till like 7 30, 7 something. And I would wake up, I think around like 5 30. And I literally, all I would do, I didn't even use foundation, nothing, not even concealer, nothing. It was just to do my brows and then have the last 25 minutes before I leave, like brushing my teeth and doing my hair. Like, why? I don't know why I did that. And I think this is before I finally got the hint and like got the rundown of doing my makeup. Start, I didn't really know what to do. I didn't have the right products. And now I do. It takes me maybe like an hour or two max. Uh, two hours if I really want to take my sweet time, including my hair. I know this isn't a blush brush, but since I've been using this bigger brush to blend everything out, I think I'm gonna use this one just to pat on a girl. Just to pat on a blush, just so it's like set basically since I already used setting powder. I'd rather have a lot of blush than look really pale and like no color in my face. And here's a little hack that I do for y'all so your highlight could last longer. In my bl my brush with setting powder, setting powder, duh, no, setting spray, I fan it out and then I go in with my highlight and it just makes it last longer and it makes it like shine brighter. So uh, this question is how to deal with fake friendships, heartbreaks. I'm still growing and I'm still learning how to do stuff. And clearly I can't get the hint down of when people don't want to be my friend or if people don't want to be with me like romantically wise. And it sucks because I should know this by now. And I've been through so many heartbreaks of the same thing that I should have gotten the hint, but I haven't. And it sucks <laughs> it's like so much. But honestly, I think you really just have to learn and you have to go through it. Like there's no avoiding it, it's life. But fake friendships, honestly, that I understand that and I felt that so hard because things become very one-sided in friendships with people that like just don't respect you or your friendship. So if it becomes like that, that's your sign just to slowly distance yourself just so it's not dramatic or like, oh my God, she just cut me off or just so there's like no bad blood or no tension. Don't be so easy access for them. Don't be so available for them whenever like they need you on their time. That's the worst and that's what I hate the most when people expect you to be there on their time but they won't be there for you when you actually need them don't give people the time of day when they don't deserve it we real as we grow we really need our distance to really see how we are and how much we really need each other because when you're with someone constantly it's like you're kind of like kind of forcing that person onto you and it's making you feel like you need them or you're so dependent on them but when you're away from someone it really shows you like that you could do things on your own that you don't need someone with you all the time and that you're just your own person you don't need a friendship to define who you are but you can't depend on anyone forever at the end of the day all you have is yourself so yeah thanks for listening to my detox because these are this is getting really deep anyways now that i'm done with my face and i've been ranting this whole time i am going to go in and do my brows with the nova beauty brow bar brow pencil sorry brow bar what the hell i'm gonna do my eyebrows and then i'm gonna go into um 
do my eyeshadow. I am now done with these face brushes from Nova Beauty. Let's thank them, please. A round of applause, please, please, please. Thank you so much. Do I'm gonna like outline the bottom and the top, and then I'm gonna use this spoolie and like blend it all in, and then I'm gonna go in with my soap. You know the deal. I'm gonna do like natural clean brows. Okay, so basically, this was a scary stories, whatever, blah blah blah. So, oh my god, I'm very into like paranormal stuff. I believe in ghosts. I believe in all that just because I don't. I don't really know why. It, well, it's so scary to me. My mom doesn't believe me because she's like, you swear, you know, nah, 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 swear, blah, blah, blah. Because I also used to think Elf on the Shelf was real. I'm sorry. <laughs> and there was a time when I was little and it was like set on a present and it fell. And I was like, oh my God, it moved. I will put the video in this clip just for that. <gasps> I swear to God, she unwrapped her hands. I seen it happen. She didn't just fall. She went, but she was trying to pull something so she wouldn't fall. But yeah, I could have sworn that she moved because she did. Because stuff like that's real. Basically, there was times in our old house before we moved that I was doing the dishes. Okay, let me give y'all a background story of this before. So I read on the internet that when you're alone, that your mind will play tricks on you just so that you can be self-aware of your surroundings and that um, you could have your fight or flight like activated. like easily so that's why like you will see things in the corner of your eye or your mind will make you see things basically and basically i thought that's what was happening but the thing is i was in the kitchen doing the dishes and my entire family was in there like me and my family are really close so they're always like wherever i am they are and um that happened and i'm like i saw like a little girl like in the corner of my eye like run and it wasn't like just like a regular little girl it looked like she was wearing like all white but she was white too like literally like the color white I was like, uh, what the hell? So I turned, I was like, y'all see that? And, and they were like, no. And I was like, I will never, ever, ever forget this. I'm loving how this is turning out because they're not looking like blocky at all. And they just look like cleaned up, just filled in. Like, look at that. Look at that. I'm loving it. It looks so good. And they, the, this was at our old house. So the living room, my room is like, I don't, oh God, I'm so flabbergasted right now. So in the room that I had, I had the hallway and it like, as soon as you get out of my room, you can walk into the kitchen and then there's a garage. So I thought I had seen Nate like walk from his room to go in the garage. And um, for some odd reason, like I would never just get up to follow Nate just because, because why the hell would I do that? But I had the urge to like get up and go to the garage. And then I'm getting up after I see it, now that I'm thinking about it, it's it wasn't even Nate. It was like literally like a dark, tall figure. And I it was like a shadow. And now, like after the fact it happened, I was like, why did I just follow that into the garage? Like, that's so weird. And then when I got to the garage, I literally was like blank-minded. And I'm like, why am I here? I thought that was the craziest thing I'd ever experienced. Like, it's just so weird. And then um, that one really got me because I was like, why the hell did I just follow like a, like literally just a freaking shadow figure like what the hell but here are my brows so far so um no matter how hard i get to try to get them to resemble they just won't so so this question is on whew, this question is on how long the talking stage should be okay so don't make fun of me y'all i was horrendously down bad horrendously horrendously down bad and i don't want to talk about it but i'm going to be open and vulnerable with you guys just because i love y'all so much so basically um i'm gonna tell y'all what i really believe now only from my own experience on why i believe this but i personally think that the talking stage should be max three months maybe i'm gonna use this to blend out maybe four if you really want to push it when I was down bad horrendous and I had the fattest crush on this guy that I mentioned earlier, the one that came to pick up my friend, like basically my first ever crush, the one from Boys of Summer. And if you guys can figure this out, I will literally be like, whoa, you guys figured it out. Like I'll be shook because no one really knew about us because we had talked for a year. In the talking stage for a year. I don't know how I did it. I don't know why I did it. Don't ask me any questions. It was so bad that man, I'm literally spilling you guys. I'm literally spilling all the cheese made to you because I do not care right now. That man, I was in love with that man forever. And he actually hit me up recently 
he hit no here's the thing he hit me oh i'm gonna tell y'all so he hit me up right he's like oh are you in la and i'm like no i'm in riverside and he was just like oh come i'm like who are you and talk about come i said boy right now he ended up leaving me on open but after he told me come i'm like i'm from tiktok like i'm waiting for him to reply to my boy wait right now and i'm like you know just waiting for him to reply blah 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 and then on my for you page is him with a girl i was like oh this man ah he's ruthless like he really don't care but um yeah i was in the talking stage for like a year with this man um don't do what i did learn from my mistakes so you don't have to go through them a talking stage should be not even that long to be honest with you like realistically it shouldn't even like it shouldn't like if someone likes you they will be with you there's no excuses so um yeah ladies don't settle for less like i did so i think i'm gonna go in with lover as a base this as my outer corner blend these two together like right here and then cut crease with concealer and then put this on top of the concealer yeah okay you guys are gonna, you guys probably don't understand it right now but i see it and i envision it in my head so that's what we're gonna do so it's giving just neutral like it's like you can't even tell but you can tell like look at because it's covering all that concealer right there so if you want to like do your eyeshadow but you don't want to look like too much too like just too much then this is it this is it literally this color itself is pretty in eighth grade my mom was just like you like social media you like making videos you like watching videos why? well she was like you like watching videos like why don't you make your own i was like that's not a bad idea so you know little me i was like you know what okay shorty let's do this and i made my first youtube and i was really nervous because people in middle school they're very mean they're very judgmental so i was like oh i was like literally scared for my life and i was like okay miss girl so i went ahead and i just like posted it and everyone was just like oh josie that was so cool like you're so cool for doing it like you know everyone thought it was cool because no one like my grade everyone was making music leads back then because this is when like musically it was popping and no one had thought to like do youtube so everyone was just like oh wow like josie josie this this, and that and everyone called me famous josie i kid you not in my eighth grade yearbook this was like 2017 everyone was just like wrote in my yearbook like oh famous josie famous josie and i was like wow like people think i'm famous like i thought it was so cool love this because it's oh look how pretty so it's giving very like nude in the morning and then potty in the day this is like a perfect going out look because it's like you're not doing too much you're like classy but like you still got ready in british so i'm gonna use this gold one right here and i'm gonna put it on top of my eyelids on top i'm gonna spread it out and then i'm gonna go into my inner corners so since i can i wanted to do cut crease but i just felt like it was unnecessary and i didn't want to look like too dramatic since the rest of my face is really light but i'm gonna do like the um shadow of a cut crease if, I, if that makes sense at all so i'm just gonna pretend like i have a cut crease there i'm just gonna go in the direction of a cut crease so it looks like it i keep saying cut crease i'm so sorry so boom here's the liner oh she is snatched bbo queen so this is the full face right let's get into the lippies now because that's what i'm so excited about that's what i'm so excited about my eyes are neutral and like kind of like mellow i need a crazy lip not crazy but like i need a bold lip to finish this out and bless that we got these bomb nova liners and nova lip gloss and nova lipstick i'm so excited i'm so i keep saying i'm so excited but it's really because i'm so excited and i have no words i'm speechless let's thank our soldiers of today our nova eye brushes wow. round of applause if you gave face brushes thank you thank you you gave face brushes a round of applause they deserve one too so we're almost almost done y'all so while we're on the topic of lips somebody asked why did i get lip filler well just because i've noticed that you know when people are always like oh what are the first person like what are the first things you notice about somebody my eyes always go to eyebrows and lips just because i'm that person i don't know why lips i don't know why but i think with social media like over the years i felt i fell in love with like the look of like pouty like lips at all times and my lips weren't pouty and it wasn't like an insecurity thing it was just something that i was like you know what i finally have the money to do it why not so i finally did it and i kind of love that the tip is in this shape because it looks like you never need to sharpen it like literally because it's always just like pointed and ready for you and you can literally just turn it and it's giving that it would work as a lipstick and a lip liner so it, that's perfect for a night out because 
I know I'd be struggling sometimes carrying a lip liner and a lipstick and this would be perfect. And it just like glides over and blends. And this is perfect for the ombre look that I'm about to do right now. Yeah, the shape of this definitely helps with like defining your actual lip shape. And I'm also, I feel like I'm also young and my face is still like growing. I'm still like fitting into everything. Like I'm just literally still growing. I'm not gonna go crazy. People think, oh, lip injections, it's a gateway to something else to do more, this is not. Like girl, no, it's not that deep. I wanna enhance my beauty, here I am. And now my lips can look bomb with this Nova Beauty like lip liner and lipstick on. Like, is it really that deep? No. Do your research before you get your lips done and don't go crazy. Cause one, it's expensive as hell and you don't need to be spending all your money on that. And don't do it just because you want to fit into any beauty standard because you're perfect the way you are. But if you do want to enhance what you like have already, then do it. I say do it. I say YOLO. Now I'm going to blend this out so I can apply the lipstick. And boom. This lipstick I chose here in the shade Real. It gives off a matte finish. You could also choose one that gives off a shimmer finish. It's up to you, whatever your preference is. Whoa. This I love because it's very moisturizing. My lips don't feel like cracked or dry at all. And it went on really smooth and applied really well. It didn't like get stuck on any of the little cracks on my lips because if anything, this definitely moisturized my lips. Um, it's non-smudging. I could drink this water bottle and show y'all right now. Nothing on the lid, like at all. And nothing even came off my lips. <laughs> Whoa no movement it literally applied on my lips so smoothly i was like are these my lips like I'm, I'm feeling very kissable right now i think i just found my new lip combo <laughs> i might need to go on a date right now like i'm i'm really about to hit up just anybody someone take me on a date now please because i'm feeling pretty i'm a lip gloss gal i don't care omg who is she hold on y'all oh my god i'm extra and i don't care i'd be putting on a lot and it's not sticky like at all like oh my god i love me a non-sticky lip gloss because sometimes like when i be out in the car with my friends and my hair be getting stuck like pfft, it's just sticky as hell this one you will not get that i promise you because you can just tell when you put one on yeah and i'm also getting a very like i'm feeling very hydrated in my lips and they're glowing like y'all see that in any angle they're just shining and i feel like this lip gloss is like perfect as like a going out lip gloss or like just a regular lip gloss because as of right now i had like two lip glosses that i was like oh i'm gonna use this one when i go out and then like i use a clear lip gloss during the day this one's like perfect for both so yeah you get a little bit of everything the best of both worlds with this lip gloss but yeah and overall i'm in love with this look this is it um i'm speechless and i'm in love because i'm very like precise when it comes to my makeup routine and trying new items but i kid you not this was definitely worth it worth all the hype worth everything worth my time like i'm in love and i know you guys will be in love too so i am including a link in my description to purchase everything that i got and um shop at new beauty please because you guys will be missing out for sure and you guys should definitely recreate this look just saying so we can be twinsies and we can have the same selfies but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more tutorials let me know if y'all want more makeup videos because it was kind of fun i like talking to you guys i like telling the tea to y'all but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe that's my second time saying it sorry love y'all <laughs>